Hi and welcome to the MoGo YouTube channel. My name is Shane and the founder of MoGo. This video we're going to look at a full range of ceramic metal halide bulbs. We're going to compare each of the bulbs for spectrum, power output and price. So, big range here. Uh, starting off at this end we've got a Omega 3K uh, bulb. That's down the sort of budget end of the market. We've got a Philips Master Green Power uh, Elite Agro. That's the 930, so 3K as well. Uh, we've got the Lumi Solar. This is uh, 4.2K. We've got a Solace Tech uh, 3.2K CMH. We've got a Dimlux, uh, which is 3K. Protopia bulb, which is 3K, and then we got the Migro uh, Green Power Agro, got a 3.3K uh, and a 4K. Now to analyze each of these bulbs, we've used our Sensotec Passport spectroradiometer. This uh, does not detect lower than 380 nanometers, so it goes a little bit into the UV, but um, only a bit of the UV. It will only detect a, a, an element of the UVA. However, I've included that in the spectrum analysis and I'll be doing a, a broader UV discussion in another video but hey, anyway uh, looking at the spectrum then you can see just put up the chart that the Omega all the way up to the Migro 4k they've all got similar levels of UV as detected by the, uh, the spectral radiometer probably more surprisingly on the blue end the range of blue in the bulbs ranges from 13 to 17 percent so not a huge variance and not likely to make a massive amount of difference to the uh, amount of stretch or how dense the growth is as um, the difference between 13 and 17 is not likely to be too, too dramatic and the rest really is, is proportioned in green and red the level of red in this case determining um, how warm the color or low the color temperature is. So more reds for the, the 3Ks, less reds for the 4Ks, uh, higher balance of, um, of green in most cases. That's generally the case. But it gets to far red, our sensor, our spectroradiometer does, does detect up to 800 nanometers, so it's pretty accurate for the far red, or 780 um, nanometers. And uh, you can see that they are all much the same, rating from 9 to 11 percent um, far red. The exception being the Migro 4K far red bulb, which we've uh, uh, sourced as a special uh, for those who are really looking for that boost in, uh, in flowering of, um, of far red. So that's the spectrum comparison, not a huge amount between them, I would say. So the next test we did was we, we took our Apogee SQ500 sensor, we put each of the bulbs into the same fixture, so the Migro Economy fixture, same hanging height over the grow area, and we used our test mat in the 4x4 tent, and we took 64 measurements of the power in each of the grids, and we were able to to add them up and divide by the total to get the total power output for each of these bulbs. Looking at the graph for the CMH bulb um, power output comparison, the lighter red is the PPFD output, that's between 400 to 700 nanometers, so your standard power measurement. I just added on for clarity the far red element onto the end. But you can see just looking simply at the uh, power output, first of all, there's a very small uh, difference between the maximum and the minimum. You take out the, the 4K, which is a, the Migro 4K far red, which is a bit of a special. We are looking at a difference between 443 and 462. So 5% uh, between the, the max and the minimum there, so not a huge difference. Um, the Migro 4K far red, it's obviously sacrificing in terms of the gas mixture in the bulb, less on the uh, 400 to 700 in par, 
and more into the far red zone. So just a, a, an interesting variation in choice there for those who want it. But we could say pretty conclusively that they are um, very similar, these bulbs, and within the uh, margins of error of 5% um, are pretty much the same output. So I'll show you the price comparisons now. Each of these prices are the best value prices we could find online in Euro for each of the products selected and tested. There are probably better value and specials out there for each of the brands. And, you know, apologies if um, there are cheaper ones out there, please leave a note below. But I've tried to uh, do get, put the best value prices up there that I could find. And you can see that we've targeted, certainly the Migro is tiger, targeted as being a, uh, the Migro Economy 3.3K is targeted as being a budget bulb for the budget grower to give good value for money, solid performance and uh, great spectrum at a budget price. So really enjoyed the comparisons. It was very interesting me, for me to find out that there isn't a huge difference in between them, despite the big price difference. Uh, it's, it's curious, as it would be very curious to see what the differences in growing is between the 3K and the 4K, and I'd be delighted to hear your comments down below if anybody has experience on the bulbs. And uh, yeah, happy growing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and take care.